Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda. I'm back with another custom My Little Pony tutorial. And today I'm gonna be making a Batman pony. To make this custom, I'm gonna be using the Shining Armor figurine. This one actually came to me in my P.O. box. So big thanks to the little panda that sent it to me. Um, the horn was already missing, so I'm just using a nail file to kind of smooth out where that horn had been cut off and this particular pony does not have a rooted hair it has like a strip of furry hair a lot like a troll's hair so just use some pliers or tweezers to pull it off super easy it comes off just like that and there's lots of little pieces left over that are glued onto the head so I'm just using a little bit of acetone to kind of gather up all of those little pieces of hair and glue lay them down flat and then I'm just gonna kind of scrape off the bigger sections just to make it a little flatter even though we're gonna cover <clears throat> it anyways so the head is all ready to be customized. I'm going to work on the body. The cutie mark was actually already missing, but if your pony has a cutie mark, you can remove it with some acetone. This tail, I'm cutting it off with my scissors as close to the body as I can. And then I'm gonna use my scissors to cut off a little bit more. And then I'm actually gonna press in what's left of this tail directly into the body. So if you just kind of jab it the tail will go inside the body just like that and then you have plenty of room to put a new tail on later so let's get started with the customization i'm starting off with the head and i'm using acrylic paint in the color flesh tone and i'm gonna color just the front of the face not the whole head just the front part of the face kind of like the part that's going to be sticking out of the mask area and i am using acrylic paint for this because I do not have a nail polish that is the you know really close to this tone and here's three coats of paint it looks really nice now I'm gonna cover all of the painted areas with a layer of clear nail polish now this step is really important because I'm gonna be using Sugru and Sugru can easily be scraped off of nail polish and it cannot easily be scraped off of acrylic Paint. While that clear top coat is drying, I'm going to start working on Batman's body. I'm going to cover the entire body in a shade of medium gray. This is Steel by Sally Hansen and one thick coat of this nail polish should give you opaque coverage. If you do thin coats, you might need two of them. And I suggest putting a pencil or something through the tail hole. It makes painting the pony so much easier easier. The nail polish has completely dried and I've popped the head back onto the body because it's time to start working on Batman's mask. I'm going to be molding it out of black Sugru, which is an air dry rubber. I prefer it over air dry clay, but you could always use air dry clay if you don't like using Sugru. And you don't even have to use Sugru or clay. You can always go in and just paint the mask on if that's easier for you. I've warmed up the Sugru in my hands and molded it into a long worm shape and I am using that to fill in that dented area where the hair was originally because I want to make sure that the back of the head is completely leveled out. And now I'm going to put in the other sections of the mask and then later on we're going to kind of blend them all together. Here's a big piece of Sugru, putting it across the eyes, and I am covering up the eyes. Gonna take some smaller rolled out pieces, put them on the sides of the face. And he looks a little like Robocop right now. I'm taking some pieces now and just draping them over the ears. And then the last piece that I'm gonna put in is a piece all the way around the neck.
All the pieces of Sugru are in and it looks cool already. You can really see Batman coming through. Now it is time to smooth all of these pieces and make them into one large piece. And this is why I personally really like Sugru. You can just use your finger to smooth it out and it really becomes seamless. If you need to make your piece a little bit longer, just smooth it with the downward motion and it will kind of lengthen itself out. This is what I've ended up with. It looks really neat. Now I'm gonna go in and define Batman's mouth area. To do that, I'm gonna be using a combination of this tool from my air dry clay set and I'm also going to be using an exacto knife. So I'm going to go in, mark the area, and then scrape away the excess sugru. So this is why we had to put that layer of clear nail polish because with that layer of clear nail polish, I can easily scrape the excess off. And if it was just acrylic paint, the sugru would be sticking to it. So now I'm going to carve out the other side of the mouth and then it's time to make Batman's eyes. I've used a toothpick to kind of draw out the eye section and then again I'm going to go in with my little tool and just carve out all of that extra sugru and expose Batman's eyes. And that looks really cool. It's time to start working on Batman's little underwear. And again, I'm gonna piece this out using Suru and then blend it all together. Taking a really long piece, I'm gonna wrap it all the way around his waist and make sure that I secure it down here at the bottom. And then take a, another piece and put it right in between the legs. And this is actually going to cover up the tail hole, but that's okay. I'm just going to give him another tail hole later. Two big pieces on the side. And now I'm going to use my fingers to smooth it all out and to make it one cohesive piece. looks super cool. Now I need to put in his tail hole before the sugru dries. Taking a dotting tool, I'm just gonna find where the original tail hole is and push it in just like that, super easy. The tail hole has been put back in. Now I'm gonna define his underwear a little bit more. I'm gonna cut out around the thigh area, the upper leg right here, and then I need to make the underwear a little bit shorter because it's going too far up his waist because remember, we still need to put in the tool belt. So I'm just going to mark out where I want the little underwear to end and then scrape off the excess. I'm still working with the black sugru here. I'm on my third pack now and I am putting in Batman's cuffs at the front. So I'm just gonna wrap the legs with sugru on both sides, the two front legs and smooth that out. Then I'm gonna go in with some little pieces of sugru here and press them right into the sides. And these are gonna make the little pointy things that Batman has on his cuffs and he's gonna get three of them on each side. Now I'm going to take some tweezers and flatten out these little spikes and making them a little bit thinner. And my tweezers, in case you're wondering, they are actually full of Gorilla Glue. So this is what the Gorilla Glue looks like when it dries. It kind of expands and it's just kind of stuck on the front here, but it's not bothering me right now. So I'm not worried about taking it off. Now I'm just gonna use the tip of the tweezers to point the spikes upward and I'm going to repeat this on the other side. Now it's time to work on Batman's boots. Again, just taking pieces of black sugru and wrapping them around the legs and then I'm going to carve out a point at the front of 
each boot just like that. I have also trimmed around his mask and made it a lot more even. So I'm all done with the black sugru and you can see it has left a lot of residue on my pony's body. So I am taking some alcohol on a q-tip and just rubbing that on the gray areas and it very easily removes all of that leftover residue. Wash your hands really good after dealing with that black sugru and now I am moving on to a yellow sugru and I'm going to mold out Batman's utility belt. So I have some yellow here. I'm warming it up in my hands and then I've kind of smushed it out into this long shape here and I'm going to wrap that around his waistband just like that and kind of smooth it down a little bit so it ends up almost the same thickness as the underwear. Now I think that this belt is just too thick for the pony's body so I'm going to go in and cut off some of it just like I did earlier when I thinned out the underwear band and I'm just going to scrape off the excess. I have cut out some little pieces of sugru into little squares and I'm going to place those directly on to the utility belt so it looks like pouches and I'm going to give him four of them. I think that's a good number without looking too busy. While the sugru is still wet, I'm gonna go in and etch out a little V shape on each pouch to make it look like a flap. All the sugru is completely dried now and I'm going to work on Batman's eyes which are actually going to be really easy because I am just going to fill them in with white acrylic paint so he looks just like the cartoons. So I'm going to put two thick coats of paint into the eyes to cover up everything underneath. And now the last and final thing for Batman's body is Batman's logo at the front. I have actually printed the logo out on on regular paper using an ink inkjet printer and it's very small you can tell it's like almost the size of my nail and I'm just cutting this down really small and I'm gonna attach it to the pony using some Mod Podge so I am just brushing on a very very thin coat of Mod Podge here and then I am going to put the Batman logo right smack dab in the middle of his chest and then cover up the logo with another thin layer of Mod Podge. Now the Mod Podge I'm using is a matte finish and my nail polish is actually more of a shiny finish. So once this has completely dried, I'm gonna cover the gray area, just the gray area, with a layer of clear nail polish. And you gotta make sure that you're very careful here because if you put too much nail polish, the Mod Podge and the nail polish will start to crack and you wanna be careful with that. So Batman doesn't have a tail because obviously he's a human, but this is a ponified version of Batman. So I am going to go ahead and give him a tail, but if you wanna make one without a tail, well, that's perfectly fine too. So I have a little bit of hair here, one quarter the original length, and I have uh, folded it in half and twist tied it together. I'm taking some white Gorilla Glue and I do prefer and suggest the white Gorilla Glue for this because it expands and once it dries and it has expanded on the inside, it is really, really gonna anchor that tail in and you shouldn't be afraid of it falling out. So put the glue inside the body, gonna press my piece of hair in using the end of a paint brush and let that completely dry. Now, it wouldn't be Batman without the signature cape, right? So he looks really cool, but he could use a cape. So I'm gonna show you how to make one out of material. Um, I didn't know which one would look better, so I bought both. I have like a shiny material and a more matte material on the right-hand side. But me personally, I prefer the shinier one. So that's what I'm gonna be using here. I have a rectangle cut out here and I'm going to be drawing on the back of the material. I'm starting off by measuring the pony's neck circumference and I'm just gonna mark that off with the Sharpie here. 
so it's about that wide so i know how big the cape needs to be and now i am just going to draw up some lines here almost making it look like a little triangle sort of with a flat top so i'm just going to draw those lines down and then round out the bottom and i'm going to cut this piece out And then I'm gonna cut out a small piece right in the middle of the neck area here. So that way the fabric doesn't bunch up around the neck. I'm gonna make this cape removable. So I have these little small circles of Velcro. You can find them in the sewing section of any store. And I have actually cut them in half to make them really small. And I don't sew, so I'm actually going to be hot gluing this directly onto the cape. The first one is gonna go right up here in the corner and I am actually using black hot glue sticks so that way it matches a lot better than the clear ones and you don't see it and so I'm gonna overlap it here so the other piece of the velcro actually needs to go on the inside of the cape so one's on the outside and the other one is on the inside make sure that I'm placing this in the right area and just like that you have made a removable cape I love the way that this cape turned out but to make it look a lot more like Batman's I'm gonna go in with my scissors and just cut in a series of triangles down at the hem and this is the last step for this custom. I'm going to put the cape on. Let's check out the completed custom. Here is Batman. And I think he looks so, so awesome. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. He looks really, really neat. I really prefer him with the tail. It really brings My Little Pony and a character together. Really neat, absolutely love it. Let's check him out with his cape on. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you use it to make your own pony, I would love to see how your customs came out. So send me a picture on Facebook or Instagram. If you have an idea for my next custom, I would love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Little Pandas. Until next time, bye. You can follow me online to get the latest news and updates like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Manda Panda Toy Collector or follow me on Instagram at Manda Panda Toy Collector. Want to mail me something? Guess what? You can mail it to Manda Panda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347.